I think the main event in our in our forecast is what comes later next week, and we'll get to that in a second. But for now, uh, we are mostly cloudy. We're 43 last check at PDX. Radar showing a couple of sprinkles and some snow showers in the higher terrain, primarily uh, up in the Cascades right now. Snow levels this morning around 2,000 feet. They will come up a bit as we go through the day. I wanted to go out a little wider because uh, what you can see kind of nicely here uh, on radar is a little bit of a, a line of showers here developing off the Washington coast. We've had light rain uh, off the Olympic Peninsula and the Washington coast for much of the overnight and early morning. That weak front is slowly pressing off to the south and east. So what that means is I think eventually we're going to see some sprinkles today. Uh, or, or one or two light rain showers and the emphasis here is on light. Even at the Oregon coast, our modeling suggests a few hundreds of an inch of rain, maybe Newport, Lincoln City up to Newport or Astoria, I should say. I five quarter again, maybe a sprinkle, maybe not slightly higher amounts in the Cascades where we get the the added lift of the mountains that will help uh, crank out a little bit more precipitation, which as we mentioned will form will fall fall in the form of snow today above about 2000 feet this morning. The snow level climbs to 3500 feet today, so maybe a fresh inch or two up at the ski resorts, but most folks probably won't see much. We'll also see a few snow showers out towards the, uh, the Oshago Highlands and the, and the Blues and Wallowas of Eastern Oregon. 39 last check in Hillsboro and King City 39 in Scappoose. It's 43 in Astoria. Cold, but not terribly cold. East of the Cascades 10 in Burns. It's 23 Baker City in Pendleton right now waking up to 41. Beach forecast today. Lots of clouds. And a chance of light rain. I, 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 once again, the, the emphasis here is on light. We're talking maybe a shower or two and then and then that's it. High temperatures generally in the upper 40s at the beach through the Columbia River Gorge. Again, slight chance of some showers, especially for the west end. And I wanted to point out too is that weak front slips through. Uh, the wind will be quite strong later this afternoon. It's light this morning, but the west winds really ratchet up 15 to 30 uh, through the Columbia River Gorge later today. Hopping over the Cascades, partly sunny. I threw spotty showers on here for locations in central and eastern Oregon. I think those are primarily terrain induced, so higher terrain uh, will have the best chance of a shower. Otherwise, I think the high desert is generally dry and in and out of the sunshine today with highs in the 50s. And you can see future cast for eastern Oregon after a cold start in burns. You climb into the upper 30s to near 40 today. Pendleton not going very far, upper 40s for you. And then up and down the I-5 corridor. What, what's our temperature range today? Not much. 46 Longview, 49 Eugene. Pick your favorite spot here up the I-5 corridor. Most of us in the mid to upper 40s for highs today. All right, let's get into the extended forecast because this is still the headline for next week. I wanted to show you the temperature probability. This is from the Climate Prediction Center uh, uh, for uh, above or below average temperatures for the last week of February. That big bull's, bullseye of purple over the northwest indicates high confidence in below average temperatures basically for the last week of February. And as we show you uh, future cast here, it looks like we get around a rain coming in on Monday and then a cold system drops south out of British Columbia. There is a possibility, a possibility of low elevation snow uh, sometime in here Tuesday night into Wednesday as that colder air comes in. But note the temperatures. This is really the big thing. We get really, really cold. So a reminder, Evan, that is still in fact winter uh, daytime highs on Thursday are going to struggle to get to the freezing mark. Uh, it's really late in the year to have it be that cold. And by the way, 24 Thursday morning, 22 Friday morning, those would be record lows if the, the brunt of this cold materializes as it looks like it, it may. So stand by on that. But the forecast next week, the end of next week looks really cold. And there's always the question, will we see snow in that weather pattern? Uh, we're still questioning that at this point, so stay tuned. But to go ahead and start expecting that cold weather yeah, the now. Yeah, colds, the cold's almost a guarantee. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Chris.